That was political. I'm not trying to be a smart ass there. Oh, oh. Meh. Meh. Just, just hit the box over Meh. here. That's going to be our intro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DNA Crows. And like we said in our last video, we're going to be covering this new story that broke today. Um, as we said earlier, this is likely in relation to the uh, controversy going on where Carlos Maza is desperate to start an apocalypse and uh, basically hit the income of everybody on YouTube because he's a little whiny baby man. Mm. But uh, you notice how I did not reference his identity other than to call him a man, which I'm pretty sure he isn't. So uh, <laughs> but let's just go on to the story. Um, this is an article by The Verge. YouTube just banned supremacist content and thousands of channels are about to be removed. Um, YouTube is trying to reduce the prevalence of extremist content on the platform. Uh, it's by Casey Newton. Um, I, I haven't read, I, I read through this, kind of skimmed through it. I didn't see anything really, you know, real rage baby here. I think they're just straight reporting on this. Um, YouTube is changing its community guidelines to ban videos promoting the superiority of any group just as a justification for discrimination against others based on their age, gender, race, caste, religion, sexual orientation, or veteran status, the company said today. The move which will result in the removal of all videos promoting Nazism and other discriminatory ideologies is expected to result in the removal of thousands of channels across YouTube. Okay, but here's the scary thing, right, is... People love to point and shout Nazi at people who aren't Nazis. Yeah. So the, the biggest worry for me, and I'm sure a lot of people that are hearing about this, is a lot of these channels might not be extreme. Yeah. A lot of them might just be conservative. Well, and here's the problem. Have you been called a Nazi? Or alt-right? I have been called alt-right. I've been called both. Yeah. Yeah, so... What are you going to do? It was me! Yeah! <laughs> I call you much worse than Nazi, by the way. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't care what a Nazi has to say. I don't care what a bitch has to say. Yeah. Not caring because you're a Nazi. Caring because you're a bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, like, like I was saying in the last video, likely what is going to happen is they will get a few actual channels that are promoting oh, I'm sure. you know, white supremacy or whatever. But the issue is, then they're going to target channels that aren't doing it, but maybe have an off-color joke in their videos, yeah. and then say, well, this is extremist, and... I mean, how long until it hits a channel like The Quartering, or how long until it hits a channel, I mean, Steven Crowder? My, my guess is, it's not going to hit very many large channels, they're probably going to hit channels with like sub-10,000 or 10,000 subscribers, and okay. uh, th those are going to be the ones that don't have the voice to actually speak out against it. That, that's what my fear would be. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, See, I... because I would think that it would be larger channels. I mean, not I, as many, you, you but might, you that might would be some. like the scare tactic. You might get some, but my, my issue is this is not going to be a person doing a manual review of the content. They're going to put an algorithm in place. The algorithm is not going to be able to tell context, and it's just going to start banning channels. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. The change is announced on Wednesday attempt to improve its content moderation in three ways. First, the ban on supremacists will remove Nazis and other extremists who advocate segregation or exclusion based on age, and, gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, or veteran status. And Let nobody, me get out the whole thing! And nobody would is going to be upset about channels that actually do that. No. Like, nobody would be upset about that. Other than... Nazis and extremists who advocate segregation or exclusion based on age, <laughs> gender, race, and, and I'll, religion, and I'll sexual orientation. Let me get through it. Orientation or veteran status. <laughs> um, look, freedom of speech, I will always say that. If people want to advocate for that stuff, I don't say ban them from the platform only because I say keep them on there and let's everybody mock them for the yeah. idiots that they no, are. No, and I, I totally understand, but I just don't think anybody's going to be upset. No, I, no one is going to be upset if a Nazi isn't allowed to speak. You're absolutely no. right. But here's the problem. What happens when you have someone calling everything else a Nazi? Yeah, no, that's, what, then, yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying earlier. That, that's why I said people love to point and shout Nazi at people that are you, maybe you, just conservative. I mean, you have to defend everyone's right platform unfortunately even if that means yeah. somebody that you really don't like and there sure, are people sure. i've seen on youtube that really turn my fucking stomach um it doesn't mean i want them off the platform yeah. it, it really doesn't I, I don't like fox i think their content is 
garbage. Yeah, I but think, I wouldn't advocate to silence them. No, because here's the thing. Having that on the platform means you know what that, that group is thinking, and it gives you a response to their idiotic ideology. And they've given us a couple of videos. Ooh. Especially that hair video. No, that was, was that, yeah, that yeah, was that Vox. Vox. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, let's not mention the hair video. No, I like the hair video. <laughs> no, you don't. No one. <laughs> It got a couple likes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it got like 40. Yeah. Hair is scary. Okay. No, dude. That, <laughs> okay, first of all, no, it's not that hair is scary. That dude had like a weird fetish for hair. Okay, let's not talk about this. <laughs> all right, second YouTube said it would expand efforts announced in January to reduce the spread of what it calls borderline content and harmful misinformation. That's the thing I don't like. Because, yeah, what is borderline content? And what's harmful misinformation? Now, you're going to say, well, Vox. I would say it. But yeah. that's the thing. People are going to say, well, Crowder is harmful misinformation. People are going to state that CNN is harmful misinformation. Fox News is harmful misinformation. Alternative media as a whole is harmful misinformation. Who's the arbiter of truth? At the end of the day, I don't think any of Obviously, these people Obviously, it's our Lord and Savior, YouTube. All right. <laughs> Is that what you really want on the platform? Look, people are allowed to be stupid in public. You can't then restrict their ability to make videos. Yeah, true. Uh, if they're idiots, you know how you refute it? Do a response to it. Take it down with actual facts and show the facts. I mean, that's why I like Stephen Crowder's videos when he's going through something, because he'll source everything that he's talking about, and you can look it up yourself. When fucking Vox does a video with this insane conspiracy, I don't know, like, Fox News is controlling the media, and you source any of the shit that they're saying, and you find out it's blatantly false, I think that's better than trying to restrict Vox's access to the to the platform. Now, Vox isn't a target of this, but, like I said, smaller channels are going to be. Yeah. Channels with 30,000 views, channels that go against Antifa and call them a violent extremist organization. We know that's true. They're going to say it's false. Who's going to decide? Who's going to be the person that comes in and says, "Well, this is false. This is true. Ban all the false content." You don't get to do that. And how many? Let's, let's take this to the past. The the uh, the Iraq War. We know now that was all fake. Saddam Hussein did not have WMDs. The intelligence community was completely false. What are you going to do? Yeah, but back then, had you have said, "No, they don't have weapons of mass destruction." You would have been the one that they said is spreading misinformation. And, and if you were on YouTube at the time with that role in place, your, your, con your, your, your channel would be taken down. Even though you were right. You don't know what is 100% true or false. We know that there are many things that have, been, that have been just held as true and that have been blatantly tr been proven false. Yeah. There was a time when people thought fat was bad for you and sugar was a perfectly harmless substitute. I think we know today, I mean, with whoa, the rise whoa, of diabetes... Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Let's cool it on the hate for sugar. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? But look, you don't know who is telling you the truth and who is telling you falsehood. The important thing to do is... Except for, you know, we would never lie to you. I might lie a little bit. Lies all the time. I don't lie. That's true. Yeah. So basically... I said I always lie, so I'm lying about being a liar. Blew your mind. <laughs> but look, it's important to let everybody talk. If you want to find out what is true and what is false, listen to all the content, use some critical thinking, and then source the information that they provide. I think that's what's most important. But when you have them saying, well, we're just going to ban all misinformation, okay, how do you know that you're banning misinformation? How do you know that you're not just banning the things that, I don't know, legacy media tells you is true? Well, I think this could also go back to the whole... Um... You know how people say that Twitter is holding a certain ideology over other ideologies? Like, let's say with the whole transgender thing? Yeah. Well, to conservatives, transgenders are still whatever gender they were born, right? Now, who's to say that that's misinformation or not? Well, I mean, it's, it goes into the whole denial of science, right? You have people saying that misgendering is, is harmful, it's offensive and everything. But these are the same people that also deny that there's any biological difference between men and women. And when you try to use science on them, they just start using their feelings instead of science. Yeah, but what, what's true, what's false? Yeah, exactly. That's my point, though, is who's to say which side is spreading the misinformation? I mean, we all know <laughs> yeah. they're going to say the conservatives are. And I mean, I'm not a conservative, actually. 
feel a little different about some of the issues. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, I have no issues <laughs> with people that are transgender. I, I really don't. I don't have any issues with people that are gay either. I just... It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't affect but me. We it all doesn't know, bother me. We all know who's gonna be targeted. Oh yeah, I know. And, like the only thing that bugs me about it is when you have people trying to push things like hormone therapy on children. Like mm-hmm. that, I think that's uniquely harmful, and children don't have the mindset to make that decision for oh, themselves. No. The, the the brain doesn't stop um, going through weird changes until around like what twenty twenty one. Your body is still... and so putting drugs, putting altering chemicals into your body is the, harmful well, up until the age of 21. You're taking away their ability to have children, too. How do you know that they're not going to want children when they grow up? That's something that happens when you're older, not younger, for yeah. a lot of people. So, look, I know people that didn't want kids until, like, 30. Our sister! Our sister! She, she was adamant that she was never going to have kids. Now she's got two kids. I'm just saying, like, look, that, that would be my only issue with it. As far as the rest of the stuff goes, yeah, I have an issue with transgender athletes competing, you know, uh, male to female competing in female divisions. Are you allowed to talk about that? Well, not according to these people. You're, you're, you're committing hate speech by uh, bringing that up. Mm-hmm. I think that's absolutely asinine and stupid. Yeah. But hey, would you really want the arbiters of free speech to be a bunch of asshats living in Silicon Valley running off of San Francisco values, the city of human species? Think about it. Like, no. Huh? There's going to be good ideas, there's going to be bad ideas, there's going to be truthful information, there's going to be misinformation. In the real world, you can't stop it. Grow the fuck up. Yeah, I think the important thing is to do your research. And then uh, finally in this article, finally, YouTube said it would restrict channels. Finally, finally. Finally, <laughs> YouTube said it would restrict channels from monetizing their videos if they are found to repeatedly brush up against our hate speech policies. Those channels will not be able to run ads or use Super Chat which lets channels, subscribers, pay creators directly for extra chat features. The last change comes after BuzzFeed reported that the paid commenting system had been used to fund creators of videos featuring racism and hate speech. Yeah, look, I... You know, I, my issue is YouTube is over here basically bending the knee to digital media sites that do absolutely nothing other than target them, target their creators. YouTube needs to yeah. YouTube needs to grow up here and actually defend its content creators yeah. you who know, have been the lifeblood of the platform. Not these big digital media sites, not these mega corporations. Don't give a shit about YouTube. Don't give a shit about the people on the platform and only seek to use it to get their own views. Seek to have YouTube funnel them viewers, funnel them subscribers. Yeah, and then when that doesn't work, they just hurt everybody. Yeah, like look. You know, if I was... I know I love Nick Ricada. I don't think he's racist. I don't think he's any of those things. If I was Nick Ricada or a YouTuber like that, I would be extremely worried. Oh yeah, I look. Um, Sun Paizo, right? Whatever you think of him, he he has his videos demonetized all the time. What if you took away his ability to do super chats? That'd be fucked up. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hero Hey, you had a uh, A and N go out there and call well, him. Well, he anti- wasn't able to live stream. Yeah, but you had them calling him an anti diversity YouTuber. Imagine if A and N got got a hold of one of these idiots. And basically said, well, no, he, he promotes uh, hate speech. And then they took away his ability to do super chats. It's fucked up. Yeah. But, you know, here's the thing. You know, Nick Ricada is a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think That's that he, he has a little bit more backing. But you're going to have smaller creators in the 10,000 view area mm-hmm. who are just going to have their income targeted by these people. They're not going to be able to rise up. They're not going to be able to grow. And it's all because of assholes like this that yeah. are backed up by big mega bucks. Yep. So... I guess uh, another video of some fuckery, <laughs> more YouTube fuckery. Yeah, uh, look, um, it, things aren't looking super great. No, you know, it was a win that uh, YouTube sided with. Yeah, uh, I'm not just going to ban people because okay. you throw a whiny baby tenter. All oh, right, well they said that, and then this comes out. You no, get I, what I'm I, saying? I think that they wanted to do this for a while though, because they talked about banning borderline content. Yeah, um, but I'm just saying, I feel like they... It's a double-edged sword. You, they, you have, you have they may one. have said it to make people at ease, and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, by the way, we're doing this. And I think I think the whole Carlos Maza thing and a few other things is what pulled the trigger on this. Oh, yeah. So even though they said, oh, well, we can't ban... But you think Carlos Maza's stopping? No, he's using this as proof that YouTube isn't enforcing their own policies and that they should ban Crowder. So you're, they're not winning either way. 
no matter how you look at it, YouTube's losing out here. They're going to target their content creators. What are you going to do? You think anyone's going to watch YouTube as just CNN and Vox? Oh, dude, like, no. People are always going to watch YouTube. Yeah, if thing. it's just CNN and Vox videos? No, it won't no. just be CNN and Vox videos because there will always be more and more YouTubers that pop up. Some will fall, others will rise because of it. Yeah, but the ones who are all going to rise up are the freaking minis. No, well, there's also, there's also, it's not just one genre of YouTube videos. When certain genres oh, get I, attacked, I get what others, you, mean. you know what I'm saying? I get so what it you won't mean. always, it won't just be you, Fox and CNN. You, you think that? And I'm not going to disagree with you on that level. What I'm going to say is, would you think that anime is overtly political? No. You, you think that people aren't trying to make it overtly political? They are, and they're trying very hard. However, just because you tried doesn't mean that those channels will it rise happened to with power. comic books, and it happened with video games. There, yeah, but look really... at the sales of comic books. Yeah, they're dropping, but you, you think that it's not going to happen. I'm saying that no, it's it will, but every I'm just, time. No, I'm, it will happen, but it's not like those are going to flourish, because they won't. No, but what I'm saying is, if they're banning all other voices, that's literally all that's going to be on the platform. No, and then you have a huge rush to other genres and new genres in YouTube. Okay, what you think that they're not going to make kaiju that? Uh, <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, if you really wanted to, you could turn everything political, and yeah. that and that's exactly what the people that infected yeah, all these other and fandoms. Yeah, have you said. can always you can always make anything political, Movies but need to be more will political. it sell? Get woke, go broke. That is if that is the, the truest only thing. content that is allowed on YouTube but at a certain point. It won't be. It won't be because there's other genres. People will flood the markets to other genres. You keep saying they'll flood the markets to other genres. That's not the point I'm trying to make. I'm saying that all they're going to do is keep hitting those and say, "Well, that's hate speech too. You need to ban that now." Yo, they, they're all never going to stop is, the argument. All I'm saying is they will never actually be able to do that to like the animation community and what i mean by the not anime <laughs> i mean like Jaden animations and the odd ones out you'll never be able to hit them with that you might just see like a you, huge or you think that right uh, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm not guarantee I'm not, it yeah. watch Jaden animations oh yeah watch it no <laughs> Jaden animations is That's great so good but what are they gonna say well Jaden animations did that video about pewdiepie pewdiepie's all right she's promoting the alt right you know what? okay you you think that it can't be done and i'm saying that it's been done every other time they consider not taking a side in politics to be taking a side in politics that's true but so i just don't see i just don't see it i, oh, just I like, think i think youtube is like probably, i said when you break down others will rise it's just it's a never end. oh i don't I, I i think the problem is you would be correct except they are overtly trying to place control on the rise they're they're trying to place control on the flow of information that's the issue if you didn't have yeah, those controls, that's like that's impossible. You I'm think it's you, hey, you think it's impossible. impossible. You think they haven't tried doing that already? But look, look why well, they're so no, upset look, with Stephen Crowder. Look, all he, I'm saying is, is you, you're right yeah. though. Like they did it with comic books. People flooded the markets to other places. Then mm -hmm. they went to this. But what I'm saying is, it's a never-ending cycle. You can't control it all. You, you literally can't. can't. It's not going to stop them from spinning their heads and at targeting people and yeah. trying to. Control. No, and I get that. I'm now, not, I was is, never disagreeing with you there. Yeah, the issue is with YouTube. YouTube, as much as people try to go like, well, it's not a monopoly. You have other, you have other sources out there. YouTube is kind of a monopoly. There, there's really nobody else you can go to for the same access you have with YouTube. So if they place those controls onto YouTube, the only thing that could happen is an alternative media site pops up that, that, that you know, kind of uh, uh, does the same thing YouTube does. But look at what happened with Twitter. Mm -hmm. What happened when Gab came out? All Gab said is we're a free speech platform. What happened then? Well, Gab, Gab is the Nazi platform. Gab, Gab's where they allow Nazis, and that's the Nazi platform. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to say that about, like, Mines. Oh, yeah, they will. Yeah. Because Mines allowed Sargon of Akkad. Sargon of Akkad is all right. Uh, so, 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 so that means uh, Mines yeah. is all right. That's what really bothers me. Sargon of Akkad. No, he's not. It's even just super conservative. But you, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. These people are completely dishonest. Yeah. They do not care. They're power hungry. They want to control everything. They're authoritarians and they're fascists. And the problem is, they have way too much of a voice right now, and they have these mega corporations absolutely going. No, by and their I was never look, because because the mega corporations understand they can make money off of it. Yeah, look, and I was never disagreeing with you there. I'm just saying when you attack one, they'll just 
People oh, I, 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 and grow to I agree. They'll, they'll go to something and, else. Yeah. But like, not I that said, I want that to happen. I think people shouldn't be forced to do that. If, if you went to kaiju battles, right? If kaiju battles suddenly became the big thing. I would love that. Yeah. I'd love so much content about Godzilla. Uh, Toy Bounty Hunters does a lot of the Japanese special effects videos. Can, can like, you, like, you think that if that became the next big thing, they wouldn't then flood it and say like, oh, that's political and that's racist because of this, this, or that. Yeah. You think if we didn't have a rise, literally a rise in videos about trains, old steam locomotives and shit, you think that they couldn't turn that into politics? Well, the Chinese were were uh, forced to build the railroads, and so by talking about these train videos, you're being overtly racist now. Yeah. I'm just saying, you could you could twist your mind up in circles and turn everything into politics can, if you really wanted can to. Can Yu-Gi-Oh! just be big on YouTube again? Can we just go back to... Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and duels? I still watch those videos. Yeah? Yeah, I don't even duel anymore, but I still uh, love the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I, I, duel. I have my, uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! box. Yeah, it's I got my Necroz deck. Not on me right this second, yeah. but it's like like five minutes away. My favorite, oh, you know my favorite deck, I think, was the Buster Blader deck? Yeah. All right, well, um... That, that was a weird uh, yeah. place to go. We're not going to start talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! forever. Well, the Buster Blader is incredibly masculine, and I think that promotes toxic Buster. masculinity. And look, his effect is to gain power by dragons in the Buster graveyard. Blader he is trying to extinct all the rare animal mythical beings. Buster Blader. I know. Talking about the Buster Blader fusion. So, the Duel Link scam is pretty okay. Okay, yeah, but Duel Links is like... It's actually what, you pretty get fun. three monsters on the field? Yeah, three monsters, three spell and trap zones, and Bullshit. 20 card deck. Bullshit. That's pretty fun. Why couldn't they have just, I don't know, done like the Yu-Gi-Oh... You know that website when you could duel? Where it was like legit like rules and everything? No? Okay, well, oh, I, anyway. know, I know what you're talking yeah, about. That, Why are what? we talking about Yu-Gi-Oh in our uh, video about Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't know. We're going to edit all that out. Um, well, let's keep some of it in. I'm not sure. Oh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning into another episode of DNA Crows. Dean, do the outro. Alrighty, guys. Remember to tell us what you think in the comment section. The conversation does not end here. We would love to hear what you think on this issue because it is very important. This could hurt not just big channels, small channels like us, small channels maybe like you, um, or if you don't have a channel, content creators that you like. This could hurt. Um, so, Tell us what you think. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share our videos um, if you feel like it. I'm not going to force you to do anything, um, but it could really help out our channel. We are growing at a pretty decent pace, but... Uh, yeah, we're up to 140 right now. Yeah, but it could always be better, and uh, we really uh, appreciate your support. And uh, let's see if they made it to the end of the video. Let me know in the comment section, are you Team Blue Eyes White Dragon or Team Dark Magician? All right.